eyes, keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a froward mouth, and perverse lips put far from thee. Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Chapter 5 Hello, hello, y YouTube viewers. As, y as you just heard in that passage from Proverbs, it is best to keep f from you a for since that word is too hard to pronounce, I'm going to call it a, a evil tongue. It is best to keep the evil tongue out of your mouth. Well, folks, well, folks, do people ever aggravate you too much when they are worried or concerned about you well well listen on the day that i made this the minute my mom pulled in the driveway she said oh have you been drinking enough water you look flushed and and a couple months ago, I was so dehydrated that I had to go in the in the hospital, and and I thought to myself, man, if anyone else calls or texts wanting to check on me, I thought to myself, what do I do? I won't get a moment's peace. So so after I went to my mom's room and talked to her, and I said, Mom, what's wrong? I feel fine, but I didn't want to be worried because I love my family, but if they call wanting to check on me or if they text wanting to check on me, if I think that there's something wrong, I am reluctant to tell them because because in the past when I've had even the slightest medical problem they have not seemed to understand the words please don't drive me crazy or please don't check on someone I mean or please don't check on me or please check on someone else Whenever someone says it looks like something's wrong with me, I'm afraid that my that my dad's side of the family won't understand those words that I just mentioned, and I'm afraid that they won't quit checking on me, and 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 if they keep checking on me too much, I don't get a moment's peace because because at those times they just don't seem to know what the words, I feel good, I'm fine, mean. And, and sometimes it just seems like that, that days like that are a holiday that they like to call check on Blake Day and or drive Blake Nuts Day and or get on Blake's Nerves Day. Well, well, after my mom told me why she asked that and what the problem was. I came here in my room and, and I told the Lord that I was concerned about what to do if, if, if my dad or grandparents call me or text me and say, how you're doing. I mean, I told the Lord I was afraid about well, I was afraid of what to do if my dad or grandparents should call and ask, how you doing? How you doing? Are you all right? 
And, and the Lord said, when that happens, turn your phone off. The Lord, the Lord just told me, if they call or text and ask you how you're doing at any time like that from now on, the Lord, the Lord just said, turn your phone off. Because I do love my family, but if they think something's wrong with me, or if they're concerned about me, in the past I haven't gotten a moment's peace, and now, and now I'm afraid slash concerned whenever they want to check on me at times like this. So folks, listen, whenever you don't want someone checking on you, and, 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 whenever you don't want someone driving you crazy, the Lord just told me, from now on, at those times, turn your phone off. He said, from now on, at those times, turn your phone off. Never thank me, but I would like to know how much this video helps you, but we're not done yet. Please pay close attention to this chapter from the book of James, chapter 1. But, but, folks, believe me, I feel f perfectly fine. Folks, believe me, I feel wonderfully and perfectly fine. And with a burning heat, but it withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth, so also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempteth he any man, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then, when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness neither shadow of turning, of his own will begat he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. If any man among you seem to be religious, and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Pure religion, and undefiled before God and the Father, is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Just, just one more th thing. Since that chapter in Proverbs says to keep yourself from an evil tongue, since that chapter in Proverbs says to says to run away from an evil tongue, 
I suggest when you turn your phone off, I suggest that that is a perfect time to pray to love being silent. Right after your turn, right after you turn your phone off, at times like that, every time from now on, if that is not a perfect time to pray to love being silent, I don't know what is. If that is not a perfect time to pray to love being silent, I don't know what is. If that is not a perfect time to pray to love being silent, I don't know what is. Be now, I know I, I, I know I repeated that three times, but the reason for that was just to emphasize that is a perfect time to pray to love, to pray to love, the Bible's chapters where it says it is best to not talk. Once again, I feel awesome, but never thank me.